Hey guys today we're going to be covering a 2011 Spanish psychological thriller film called The Skin I Live In. At the beginning of the movie a young girl wearing full potty skin tights is seen doing yoga and old woman Marilia sends her some things using a dumb waiter the woman who we later come to know as Veda takes the things and uses the intercom to request some sewing material such as scissors and needles. Madelia however blatantly refuses to give them to her Dr. Robert Legbar a scientist is seen delivering a presentation on skin transplant and how it can change the life of burn victims. After this presentation he returns home to his lab and gets busy with his research a moment later he goes up to his room and starts observing Vera through his screen who seems to be lying. Still with her back to the camera he goes to a room and finds her laying there with cuts all over her chest he gets alarmed and rushes her to the lab. While he's treating her she asks how long the experiments will last when he doesn't answer she tells him she'll kill herself Robert says if she really meant to kill herself she'd have targeted her throat not her chest thus calling her Bluff Robert creates a patch of artificial skin in his lab and prepares enough to cover a whole female body he transfers the skin onto Vera and then tests the skin using a mosquito and fire. He asks Farah if she can feel the mosquito bite or the fire's heat but she tells him she can't in his next presentation Robert breaks news of his marvelous creation gala tough skin that is damage resistant he states that the subjects he conducted the experiments on were mice during a refreshments break in older scientist asks robert what the skin's name means robert tells him he named it after his wife who died years ago by burning the scientist asks him more about the skin another scientist who desperately seems to be looking for dirt on robert nears the man there Talking to the old man notices this and pulls Robert away. Robert reveals that he used transgenesis in this creation. The man reminds Robert that experiments involving transgenesis are banned. He then strictly instructs him to discontinue his research, saying, Otherwise, he'll be forced to report him. Later that night, Robert sits in his room, observing Farah through the camera when he zooms in on her face Federer stares right back at him as though she was aware of his eyes on her when Robert goes to a room she asks what else he wants to improve and her Robert tells her there is nothing more he wishes to do. When the experiments have ended Vera asks what he plans to do with her now. Robert says he hasn't decided yet Vera asks to let her live with him like a Normal person Robert gets irritated by this and gets up to leave Vera stands in his way and starts trying to seduce him. She tells him she knows he watches her and that he should give in to his desires Robert gets extremely nervous and immediately rushes out locking the door on his way while Robert is having a meal downstairs Maria tells him that he shouldn't have used her face apparently. Robert made Vera look like his late wife. Mariella warns him of the dangers the discovery of Vera and his house could put him in and advises him to kill her. Soon she tells him that she knows that he start a feeling for her and she fears it'll make him do something stupid. To keep Vera a secret Robert tells Marilia to fire all the servants that allow nobody else in the house while Robert is out the next day Zeka. Morelia's fugitive son comes to visit. Her Morelia initially refuses to let him in but Zeka emotionally blackmails her and tells her he'll leave after a few words Medelia thus opens the doors for him while sitting with Morelia later. Zeka asks to hide in the house Mad Eli refuses to do this saying Robert will be back soon and he won't allow anyone's 
presence let alone is one of the screens showing Vera catches Zekka's eyes and he starts staring at her, lustfully mistaking Vera for Roberts. Wife Zika asks Morelia how she's still alive after he left her burning Morelia. Says she's not gal and tells Zika to leave the house immediately threatening him with a gun Zeka plays the emotions card and snatches the gun from Marilia. He then takes the keys to Veda's room and goes upstairs Vera tries to escape him. But he holds her back and forces himself on her seeing her chance at escape Vera. Begs him to take her with him and tells him she'll do anything he says Seka. Tells her he will but only after he's done with her he then takes her back to a room and continues this vicious assault Vera pleads with him to stop telling him he's hurting her Zeka pays no heed and remarks that she used to like it a lot back in time in the meantime Robert returns to the house and watches them both through the screen he rushes upstairs with a gun and finishes Zeka off with two bullets he then pushes his body off a disgusted Vera and embraces her tightly while changing the blood-spattered sheets in Vetter's room. Aurelia reveals that Robert and Zeka were both her sons she had Robert with. Ledger the man she served Ledger's wife was sterile so they kept Robert when he was born Vera tells Morelia that Zeka was mistaken her for someone else. Marelia tells Vera that she looks like Gal Robert's wife she tells her that Zeka adopted a criminal's life years ago once it came to Morelia for shelter. And she took him and when Gao saw him she took a fancy to him they both ended up eloping but their car crashed on the way. And a fire started Zeka escaped unhurt. But Gal was found by Robert with only a flicker of life still left in her he brought her back home and started treating her his love for her wouldn't let him sleep so he spent his nights at a chair by her bed gal started recovering but one day she saw her reflection in a window and noticed a burn and scarred face unable to bear her ugliness she jumped out the window to her death robert returns after burying zeka's body according to morelia's Instructions He finds Morelia and Vera in the garden and takes Farah inside the wall kept up by Robert to protect him from Vera's seduction seems to have dropped after this incident and he starts making passionate love to her. Veda however begs him to not penetrate her saying Zeka left her in a very bad condition Robert happily grants her a quest but continues to hold her after a moment Vera tells him she's getting sleepy Robert lovingly spoons her and tells her to sleep calling her my love. This makes better realize that he now sees Gal in her face and she goes to sleep we are then taken six years back. Robert is at a wedding with his daughter. Norma a conversation of his with the bride reveals that Norma usually stays Isolated this is the first time she's seemingly enjoying herself amidst a crowd we then see Norma shyly smiling at a boy who is smiling back at her as everyone starts dancing Robert notices that Norma is missing he goes out to look for her a man in a helmet passes him and rushes out of the house on a motorbike Robert later finds Nora lying unconscious by a tree he pulls her in his arms and wakes her up Norma opens her eyes and starts screaming while pushing Robert away Robert tries to calm her down but in vain the traumatized girl keeps pushing him away while screaming loudly were then taken to the rapist past Vicente is seen pulling up dresses in his mother's boutique he takes a dress from the shop and tells his mother's helper Christina to wear it, saying he wants to take her to a party. Christina shows no interest and tells him that if he finds a dress so appealing he should wear it himself. Vicente's mother looks out of her window and tells him to stop bothering 
Christina Vicente tells his mother he's